हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ श्री महावीर इंटरनेशनल स्कूल दिस इज ममता यादव योर एज एस टी टीचर टूडे आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस यू योर चैप्टर फाइव दैट इज इक्वेटोरियल फॉरेस्ट सो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय इक्वेटोरियल फॉरेस्ट दैट मीन्स द फॉरेस्ट विच आर लोकेटेड नियर और विच आर फाउंड नियर equator okay we have already learn about equator in our second chapter that divides our earth into two equal parts that is equator the equatorial rainforest regions as the name indicates are found near the equator between 0 degree and 10 degree north and south of the equator that means they are very near equator line the equatorial region falls in the torrid zone torrid zone means the zone torrid zone torrid means warm that zone is near the uh, it is located between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn that's why it is very warm and remains hot and wet throughout the year if you look at the map carefully you can see the map map world map is given here it is spread over parts of three continents asia africa and south america you can see the green part that is equatorial forest in south america you can see in the map the countries located in equatorial region are ecuador colombia and brazil three countries are there the rain forest covers the entire zero basin and guinea coast in west africa south asian countries like malaysia singapore indonesia sri lanka parts some parts of india and australia are also situated in this rainforest zone or we can say the torrid zone climate the climate of the equatorial region is hot and humid because it is near equator so the sun rays are direct the rays fall directly on this part of the earth on the equator so that's why it is very hot and humid throughout the year the duration of day and night is equal because it is equator it divides the earth into two equal parts the humidity is very high because of the high rate of evaporation from large rivers ponds seas and transpiration from plants what is transpiration transpiration means loss of water from the plants that means some because of the humidity like we also have sweating like that also plants also lose water through the process of transpiration rainfall is heavy throughout the year with an average between 250 and 350 cm annually rainfall is accompanied with thunderstorms what do you mean by thunderstorms here you can see the picture of thunderstorm thunder storm means electrical storm or lightning storm okay so we know thunder storm we have seen the picture of thunder storm that is typically in the equatorial middle or we can say thunder storm or lightning electrical storm or lightning storm there is only one season here which is hot and humid without any winter or 
spring because this area is near equator that's why it doesn't have winter or spring only hot weather is there and that is also humid plant life what type of plants are there since the region receives rainfall throughout the year there is a luxuriant growth of natural vegetation what do you mean by luxuriant luxuriant means growing thickly or healthy growth that means many plants were there and they are very thick because of the rainfall the equatorial region is an evergreen region as all the trees remain green and do not shed their leaves at the same time and this region also is called evergreen region because in this region trees remain green throughout the year and they do not shed leaves at the same time the trees grow in different heights forming several layers the trees of this region also have broad leaves and thick branches forming a canopy at their top canopy means tent type structure okay you can see the canopy of a rain forest picture is given in your book is book mosses and lichen grow on the damp trunk and branches of the tree inside the forest that means the green like you can see on the bottom of the water also kai bolte hain jise they also grow in the damp trunk and branches of the tree inside the forest the equatorial forests are very useful ebony mahogany etc provide raw material for many industries and because equatorial forests they have thick trees they provide raw material to many industries like ebony mahogany other trees these forests also comprise creepers orchids lianas and tall trees they release oxygen and lot of moisture into the air with form which form thick clouds and because of this humid region a lot of moisture is there and it forms thick clouds and result in heavy precipitation what do you mean by precipitation precipitation means rain okay so result in heavy rainfall in fact that is why they are called rain forest because they receive rainfall throughout the year that's why this for these forests are called rain forest wildlife what type of wildlife is there animal life in the equatorial region is found in abundance okay that means many animals are found in equatorial regions there is an immense number and variety of insects means many um many animals are there insects are there for example butterflies mosquitoes spiders etc animals like gorillas chimpanzees white pig and okapis are found in this region the famous anaconda snake also an inhabitant of the amazon basin of south america means mainly anaconda you can found in south america gorilla are found in west africa big animals such as jaguars crocodiles and elephants are also found in these regions means many big animals are also located in this region also there are as well as a large variety of monkeys and colorful birds also many birds are there because of the rainfall pleasant weather many birds also you can see in this equatorial forest human life 
what type of human life is there in this equatorial forest the equatorial regions is one of the most thinly populated parts of the world because this is forest so many people don't like to reside in forest because of the danger of the animals that's why this region is thinly populated this means very less people reside in this part some areas such as amazon basin the zero basin and many large islands of indonesia and philippines have extremely sparse population due to dark dense and damp forests sparse population means very less population because of the dark dense and damp forest bantu tribes are found in the zero basin and in africa you can find out the bantu tribes the indonesian island of sumatra is populated by the javas and kubus so many tribes are residing in this type of region now next part is agriculture what type of agriculture some people in these regions practice shifting cultivation what do you mean by shifting cultivation you don't know we will discuss about shifting cultivation actually shifting cultivation as the name suggests it is means shifting from cultivation of one crop to another a type of cultivation in which a piece of forest land is cleared by burning the forest wood and then cultivated for few years till it loses its fertility that means in this type of cultivation shifting cultivation first a piece of forest land is cleared by burning the forest wood then it is cultivated for few years till it loses its fertility it is then left fallow for some time in order to let the soil regain its fertility so that is different part of cultivation that is done in this region crops like maize rice and cassava are grown after clearing a patch of forest for 2 to 3 years because of shifty cultivation the land is burned then cultivated for few years then it is left fallow after some time when the fertility of land diminishes the people move to a new area and after the land that uh, loses its fertility then people move to a new area so that they can do the cultivation in that part the next type of agriculture is plantation agriculture plantation agriculture is widely practiced in india indonesia malaysia west africa and central america but what is plantation agriculture plantation agriculture is a type of agriculture in which crops are grown on a large scale basis for commercial purposes that means people have a target to grow one type of crop crop particular type of crop uh, crop so that they can sell that on large scale for their commercial purposes plantation agriculture specializes specializes in the production of a particular crop through this method crops are grown on a large scale for commercial purposes the crops grown in these plantations include tea coffee rubber and cocoa that means people they do the agriculture for commercial purposes business type also so that is called plantation agriculture 